Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to another pink Futties winner player review on FIFA 16. We need to look at this 91 rated Tony Kroos. So the German who plays for Real Madrid in the La Liga has been given this absolutely unreal item. He's now got a respectable 60 pace, awesome 89 shooting, a wonderful 90 dribbling and fantastic 95 passing. He is, of course, six foot tall with the medium, medium work rates, right footed with three star skill moves and a perfect five star weak foot. The German is your catalyst and maestro all wrapped up into one. So you're going to want to play him in a slightly more attacking role. The first team I used him in, this 4-3-1-2 hybrid squad featuring players from the Bundesliga, the Premiership and of course the Serie A as well as a couple of legends thrown in as well. And I also played Kroos as a centre forward in a false nine hybrid featuring players from the La Liga, the Bundesliga and the Serie A. And I really enjoyed using the German in this role. Okay, so it's in-game stats time. If you're watching on the YouTube channel, click the first link in the description. It will take you to the German's page on the site. You can see his in-game stats there. If I had to choose three stats which stood out for me it would have to be 94 ball control 97 long shots and 97 short passing and this leads me on to the pros and cons for the player we will get the one and only negative out of the way his pace he's lacking i'm not gonna lie even with the boost up to 60 i really didn't feel like crows felt very fast at all uh 65 acceleration isn't too bad but when you actually get running and have to deal with 55 sprint speed it definitely feels like a lot of hard work you're constantly trying to stop defenders catching you up so you're shielding the ball that sort of thing which is taking you off of your primary objective which is opening up space and taking a long shot however i found that tony Kroos was positioned really well when i used him in center forward and when i used him at camp this of course gives him the best possible chance of finding some open space and when he does well he also uses great ball control you know amazing first touch really good dribbling to weave in and out of defenders to stop them from taking the ball off him on average it was three or four times a game I would find myself that bit of space that I needed and it was time to unleash a long shot he's got awesome power and really good long shot ability and of course that perfect five star weak foot which makes it really fun and really easy to take shots from any angle with either foot he does like to find the top corner and i was also quite impressed with his high curve this means that finesse shots are something that tony Kroos has got in his locker as well overall the bit i like most about this player is that he's just so well rounded he's got good enough stats that you could play him anywhere from center defensive midfield all the way up to a center forward which is just brilliant really versatile all i would suggest is that you play this guy with a couple of very pacey wingers by the side of him that will help to drag the defenders away and open up more space for the german to take long shots i hope you now know whether or not pink futties winner tony Kroos is right for your ultimate team and i hope you've enjoyed the video thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time peace